Although the Americans with Disabilities Act, the ADA, was passed in 1990, we have a long ways to go. And if we factor in the actual wishes of people with disabilities, there is even more to do. This gate, for example, is wide enough for a wheelchair, but made of metal, and therefore too heavy to open for someone mobility impaired. This ramp is much too steep. Check it out. Hi, this is John Jaworski. I had no idea that I was going to fall down backwards on this thing. It's pretty, pretty nasty and pretty horrible. This beautiful pavement is not smooth enough for comfort and is downright dangerous should it crack. It's like, it's like roller skating and you hit a stone and you go flying. Hello, my name is Sandy Andrews. I'm executive director at the Miller House Gallery and Community Space. And I'm excited to announce our new project, making our site, all of our spaces, fully accessible so that people with disabilities can join us in everything. And we're going to document our process as we go so that others can learn from us. We'll be integrating our shared values of love, of inclusion and diversity, and of compassion. We've begun assembling a planning team of people with and without a disability, but it's the voices of those with a disability that we'll be listening to. First, as the saying goes, nothing about us without us. No decisions involving accessibility without the voices of those with a disability. Second, full accessibility means no assistance required in opening a door or in anything else. Finally, universal solutions. We all go in the same door. No doubt more issues will be identified as our planning team gets underway, but for now, the consensus is that we begin with four. And the first is our little free library, which is too high off the ground for wheelchair access. A second major issue is the entrance to the Millet House and these three little steps. Although the porch is wide enough and the door is wide enough, there is no space to put a ramp, but we have a better idea. We'll make the central patio in the backyard courtyard be the place that everyone enters the Millet House from. We'll widen the sidewalk alongside the house and widen the gate as well. From here, a ramp will lead to the back door, which will become the main entrance. We have a quote of $1,500 for the ramp. Finally, a plumber has chosen a place to build an external bathroom that would be accessible to everyone uh, attached to one of the exterior walls. We'll achieve all this with SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. Goal one, weekly planning meetings. Goal two, recruiting new members of the team. Goal three, a fully accessible website documenting progress. Goal four, deepening our partnerships. Five, finding funding. After careful planning and help from partners, we'll be ready to implement our solutions. We'd love for you to join us. There is plenty to do. The outcome will be a fully accessible millet house, including the website. Our impact because of the website will go far beyond the Millet House as we teach others. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping. Thank you for the music, Nishat and Casper. We thank and honor the Native American sovereign nations of the Salt River Valley. Thank you to our mascot. <laughs>